To get started with the Sonosite Edge, press the power button key in the top right hand corner. Once the machine is booted, you are ready to scan. But first, let's take a look around the system and get to know it a little bit better. First, we have a standard keyboard here. Above it, we have some soft keys, which I'll get to later. But coming down, we have our patient info key, exam, which allows you to choose the exam preset, review for reviewing images, report for reviewing the port, and setup for setting up the system. I'll go through all of these buttons more in depth as we go through the training. On the left-hand side, we have our gain controls. We have near field, far field, the regular gain, which is for the full gain, and auto optimization. We have our depth keys here, zoom, set for setting our calipers, select for selecting certain things on the screen, uh, save calculations after you make your calculations, which is over here. You'll use a caliper to measure, clip for saving clips, and save to save standard images, just one frame images. Freeze will freeze the image, the trackpad to scroll through menus or select things on screen or make your measurements. Update key for different imaging modes where it will update a screen that's frozen or your live view image or your Doppler image. A and B are assignable keys. Your imaging modes, M mode, Doppler, which will take you to PW or CW Doppler, color, which will take you to colored power Doppler or color Doppler, and standard 2D or B mode imaging. On the keyboard, the only thing that's really different here that you need to know are the arrow keys here, which will move color boxes and do various things, which we'll show later in the training. Text, which will get you a text box to write on the screen for annotations. Picto for pictograms, also known as body markers. And your arrow key. Everything else is pretty standard on the keyboard. And let's go around the screen a little bit. Up top, we have the Sonosite logo. This says Gen for general imaging. We can change it to resolution and penetration. It tells you the optimization mode that the system is in, and so does this as well, and here as far as Sono MB. Your orientation marker, the date, your patient information will go up here, and you select in the setup what patient information you want on the screen. The time, the exam mode, the imaging preset, the probe, your battery left, how much is remaining to save on your disk, your indices, your printer that's attached, any USBs that will show up down here. Here you have your depth marker showing the bottom of the depth here, and there are little dots here which will represent a half a centimeter in this particular depth, 0 0.5, 1, 1.52, and 2.5 at the bottom. Along here, here's where we would change the different imaging optimization keys. We have our dynamic range, a needle guide, Sono MB for multi-beam imaging. Again, we'll go through all of these in a different movie when we go into image optimization and general imaging. You have screen brightness, um, picture orientation up and down or left or right. This is where we'll get to set up clips, set up our uh, advanced needle visualization, which is Sono MBE. And that's general information about the Sono Sight Edge ultrasound machine. Next, we'll get into imaging, saving, measurements, and annotations.